Matthew chapter 15, 24. The book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, This is Jesus the Christ speaking right now. Jesus Christ answered and said, Read us. I am not sent. What did Jesus say? I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who did Christ say he was sent to? The house of Israel. All nation on the earth is not Israel. Israel is a nation of people unto them. So Christ said he was only sent to the Israelites. So where does the church today get the, 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 the message that Christ came to die for all nations? That is a lie. And that's why most of our people don't believe in God and they don't believe in Christ. Because they're saying, if Christ comes to save all nations, why is it we are suffering so much? Why is it that slavery happened to us and all nations hate our guts? Because what? The, the, give me that in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Let me show you what happened. The, the message of Christ was turned upside down. You understand? It was changed by the people who were in captivity. Our Lord and Savior, our King is Jesus Christ, a black Messiah. But what happened? Our people went off to serving and worshiping idols. That's what happened, right? Read on. But I fear, least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve. So now he was giving an example. He said, just like what the serpent deceived Eve in the beginning, read on. Through his subtlety, through his deception, read on. So your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ. And we can see that today. Our people, your mind is corrupted from the simplicity of Christ. Christ said he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But for somehow the Christian church cannot see through that. They, they have changed it to say that Christ come to die for all nations. And it's very simple to understand that Christ said he was only sent to the Israelites. Right. Right? Read on. For if he that cometh preach another Jesus, Read on. Whom, whom we have not preached. So now, Paul is warning about another Jesus. Paul said, a person going to come, a, a, a race of people going to come, and they're going to teach you another Jesus. What is that other Jesus that's been taught today? Today, Jesus in the Christian church today is a white man with woolly hair. A white man with blonde hair. Sorry. A white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. That's who you, you see as Jesus today. That's not correct according to the Bible. So this is another Jesus that was taught upon the earth. Right? Read on. Or if he receive another spirit, Another spirit is that we are all one in Jesus. That's not in the Bible. Right. Another spirit is that we, we, we can come as we are and we will get salvation. Right. That's not in the Bible. Read on. Which, which ye have not received. Right, because the apostles did not teach anything like that. Read on. Or another gospel. Or another what? Gospel. What is the gospel that's been taught on the earth today? St. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now they say that that is talking about everybody on the earth. That is another gospel. Because Christ explicitly said that he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the people that God loved, the world that God loved can only be the Israelites. Right? Read on. Which he have not accepted, read that? he might well bear with me, with him. So we are here to bear with you. We are here to correct you according to the Bible. You, right? We are showing you that Jesus the Christ came to save his people. Right. And he gave us a commission, he gave us a command to come out here, to cry aloud, to tell you you are the Israelites, you need to repent and keep the commandments of God. Right. So what are the commandments that was given to the Israelites? Give me that in uh, Exodus chapter 31 and verse 16. Bring it out. This is one of the commandments that was given to the Israelites. You are the Israelites. You lost your identity in slavery. Now read. 
Exodus 31. The book of Exodus 31, verses 16. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. Who shall keep the Sabbath, my sister? The Israelite. You and, and the gentleman beside you, you are the Israelite. Right. You are to keep God's Sabbath. Right. Read it again. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. Read on. To observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. Right. So the, cover, the Sabbath day is a covenant between the Israelites and the Most High God. That's what the Sabbath day signifies. A covenant between the Israelites and God. So the covenant of the Sabbath is not given to the Adventist church. The Adventist church was created by your slave master. Right. While you were in slavery, the, the, the slave master come up with a doctrine called Seventh-day Adventist. Right. And they use it to enslave you. Right. They use it to break you into submission to them. That's, right. That's what the Christian church is all about. Whether you are Seventh-day Adventist, Pentecostal, Baptist, whatever you want to call yourself. Right. Those churches was used to oppress the blacks the Hispanics and the Native American. Right. Because they are not teaching you the ways of God in these churches. Right. These churches are the agents of Satan. Right. And they keep you from God. Right. These churches keep you from learning about God, from following God, and from keeping the commandments. That's you think I'm lying? Let me give you an example. Give me that in Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Let me show you that the churches are the agents of Satan. Because the churches teach you that the laws of God are done away with. But yet still God says we have to keep his commandments. Right. So who are you going to believe? The, the, the agents of the devil which are the churches, are you going to believe what the Bible says? We are here to teach what the Bible says. Here's what the Bible says. Read. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 verses 31. Read. And if the people of the land bring word, are any big to us on the Sabbath day? On which day? On the Sabbath day. So the Bible says, if they bring anything to sell to you on God's Sabbath day, read on. To sell that we would not buy it of them. That we would do what? Not buy it of them. But look in the Christian church today. Don't you see that they, they, they buy and sell on the Sabbath? Hell, they don't even want to acknowledge which day is the Sabbath. They come out here and make a fool of themselves. Oh, nobody knows which day is the Sabbath. The Romans changed this and the Romans changed that. Why? Because they do not want to obey the laws of God. You understand that? Read that verse again. The, bo the book of Nehemiah chapter 10, verses 31. And if the people of the land bring word, are any victuals on the Sabbath day to say that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath day? So according to God's commandments, according to the Holy Bible, the Israelites should not be buying and selling on God's Sabbath. Right. But 99% of Jamaica who say they are Christian on the seventh day of the week, if they don't set up their stall, if they don't open up their businesses, they are all buying and selling on God's Sabbath. Right. And yet still you're going to tell me that you are a Christian. Right. Yet still you're going to tell me that you are a follower of Christ. Right. These churches are the agents of Satan. Right. Because they teach you that God's laws are done away with. They teach you that Every day is the Sabbath. But that's a lie. Because according to the Bible, on the Sabbath day, you should not be buying and selling on God's Sabbath day. Right. So what's going to happen to you? Is there a judgment for you breaking God's Sabbath day? Give me, go back to Exodus 31. Let's read verse 14. Let's see the judgment for breaking God's Sabbath. Read that. The book of Exodus 31 verses 14. Read. He shall keep the Sabbath therefore. For it is holy unto you. My sister, my sister standing right here. Do you believe in the Bible, sis? Read on. Everyone that defileth it. Everyone that do what? Defileth it. Shall surely be put to death. What is the judgment for breaking the Sabbath day? Put to death. Read. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. So how do you defile God's Sabbath? How do we know when you are defiling the Sabbath of God? Let's go back to Nehemiah again and read. This is how you defile God's Sabbath. God says, all the Israelites who break his Sabbath, you are going to be put to death. 
There is no kingdom of heaven for you. Read that again. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where are any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Right. So God says on the Sabbath, we should not be giving that in our Amos chapter 8 and verse 5. Guess what? When we were in our own country, which is Israel, we did not want to keep God's Sabbath either. We did not take delight in keeping the Sabbath of God. Our people was always after money. So we are not satisfied with what the Most High blessed us with. Read that. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 verses 10. For the love of money. For what? The love of money Read that. is the root of all evil. The love of money. God did not say money is evil. Money in itself is not evil. But the love of money is the root of all evil. But how do you know when somebody loves money? Go back to Nehemiah chapter 10 again. This is how you know when somebody loves money. And when they love money more than how they love God. Read that again. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 verses 31. And if the people of the land bring where are any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So when you come out on God's Sabbath day to buy and sell, that is our example, that is a clear indicator that you are a lover of money. And because of that, you are in the midst of evil. Right. Why? Because you are willing to break the laws of God just to make money. Right. But you want that money is going to perish when Christ returns. When the kingdom of heaven comes, money will not benefit you. Because you will no longer be able to spend that money that you are you're, you're destroying yourself, that you are going against the laws of God to make. My brother, do you have a minute? Can you spend a minute with my brother? My brother? Read on. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exception of every day. No, give me that in our Deuteronomy 22. There shall be no hope. Is it 22 and verse? 23 and verse 17. So this is another way. This is another way how you, you can show that our people love money more than how they love God. Let's give you another example. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 23 verse 17. There shall, there shall be no war. What does the Bible say? There shall be no war. God says there shall be no war of the daughter, daughters of Israel. Of who? Is the daughters of Israel. So when you have a woman going around and selling sex, a woman that goes around and sells sex, that's a whore. Right. A woman that goes around and sleeps with many men, that's a whore. Right. You understand? So when you sell, you, you sell your body for money, that shows that you love money more than how you love God. That's because right. you're selling the body that God gave you, you're destroying it. You have all of these men going in and out of you. And that's why you're catching all of these diseases. Right. AIDS, chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis. This is how all of these things come about. Why? Because of the prostitution that goes on. And you have men who do prostitution too. That's right. You understand that? Right. Read it again. The, the, the book of Deuteronomy 23 verse 17. Read. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. So none of you women, you are the children of Israel. The Bible says you should not be a whore. You should not be a whore. Why is that so? Finish the verse. No, a sodomite. No, a what? A sodomite. No, a what? A sodomite. So you men are not allowed to be sodomite. And you all know what a sodomite is. Right. A sodomite is what they call a batiman. Right. The Bible says the men should not be batimen. You right. should not be a sodomite. Right. Read it again. Here, the book of Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. Read it out. Here shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. So just like all the women should not be a whore. Read on. No, a sodomite. The men should not be sodomite. They should not be a fish. Read it again. Read on. Of the sons of Israel. Of the sons of Israel. Why right. is that so? Give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. Because you are a special people unto the Lord like God. The other nation they are into sodomy. The other nation they are into whoredom. But the 
children of Israel, which are you, descendants of slaves, God said these things should not be amongst you. Right. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Read. For do unto unholy people unto the Lord thy God. You see why God said you cannot be a sodomite? You see why God said you cannot be a whore as a woman? Because you are a holy people. Right. You are a special people unto the Lord himself. Read on. The Lord thy God has chosen people unto himself. So God chose you to be special. God said he has chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Right? Read on. Above all people. Wait a minute. Above what? All people that are upon the face of the earth. So black man, black woman, in case you didn't know, God says you are above all people on the face of the earth. That's right. And somebody might have the argument, did not God create all Woo. people? Yes. Woo. God created all nation on the earth. Right. All nation on the earth was created on, by right. God. But God chose a nation for himself. Right. And that's you. Right. The so-called blacks, the Native American, the Hispanics. You are the children of God. You are the people who God chose to be his own people. And therefore, give me that in Amos chapter, is it 3 and 2? 3 and 1. You only have I known. Right? So, God said you are a holy people. And that's why we are out here this Sabbath day. That's why we are out here with the Bible to teach you that God says that you are above all people. And you should not be a sodomite as a man, right. as, a, as a son of Israel. Right. You should not be a whore as right. a daughter of Zion. Right. right? Read on. The book of Amos chapter 3 verses 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So because God chose us and God has a problem with us not keeping his commandment, he has spoken a word against us. What is that word that the Most High spake against us? Let's find out. Verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You see that? We keep reading that over and over in the Bible. God says he only know the Israelites. Of all the people that was created on the face of the earth. God said he only know you. So called Jamaican. The Hispanics. You are the people that God knows. You are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Read on. Therefore. I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, I will do what? Punish you for all your iniquities. And that's why we went into slavery. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to read it again. God says because he only know you, he's going to punish you for all your sins. You understand that, my sister? That's why we came to Jamaica as slaves. It was punishment from God for not keeping his commandment. God said we are above all people on the face of the earth. That's who you are, but you're not going to learn this in the churches. Because in the churches, the churches are carrying out the agenda of the white man. The churches are carrying out the agenda of the slave master right. who is controlled by Satan himself. Right. right? Read what you got. Verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verses 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So all God wanted from the Israelites is for the Israelites to listen to what he was saying and to follow his instruction. That's all God wanted from us. Read on. To observe and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do what? Do all his commandments. So God wants us as the Israelites to do his commandments. But the Christian church, which is run by the white man, tells us that God's laws are done away with. Right. Right? Read on. Read. Which I command thee this day, Read. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So we keep reading this over and over and over. God says once the Israelites keep his commandment, he's going to set them up as the ruler on the earth. Why is that not being taught to us? Why didn't I learn this when I was growing up? Because guess what? We were being taught by our slave master. We were being taught by those people who oppress us. And some of our people go to cemetery school and come out, out and teach us these lies. Right? Read on. Verse 15. 
But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. My sister, sister. Sister, do you know that you're into life, my sister? My sister, do you know that you're into life? Give me a minute. I'm your brother. I'm not going to do no harm to you, sis. You can't spend a minute, sis. We're teaching you the greatest knowledge on the earth. Right? Read that verse again. Verse 50. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God says, it's going to come to pass that we will not listen to his voice. We will not listen to all the instruction that was given to us by God himself. Right. Through the prophet Moses and all the other prophets. Right. right? Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do what? All his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. My brother, my brother. Do you know why we came to Jamaica and slaves? I'm sure you have heard that we came, our ancestors came as slaves, right? Do you know why that happened to us? Do you know why it never happened to the Chinese man or the East Indian man who came here? Or the white man himself who brought us here? Do you know why slavery only happened to us and not them? Do you know why, sir? Let me show you. Just listen to this verse again. Read verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes with thee. That all these what? These curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my brother, would you say slavery is a curse? Would you, the way how we treated, wouldn't you say, say slavery is a curse, my brother? Slavery is a curse. And that's the curse the Bible is talking about here. Right. We came to Jamaica as slaves, as cursed for not keeping God's commandment. Right. So, how did we come here? Did we take a plane and come to Jamaica? No, we did not take a plane and come to Jamaica. Right. Give me verse 68. This, right. is, this is how our ancestor came here. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did we came to Jamaica? With ships. We came to Jamaica on slave ships. You understand that? So what are we reading? We are reading Bible prophecy that has been fulfilled upon us. Revealing that what? We are the biblical Israelite the Bible speaks of. Right. We are the Israelites. Right? Read on. By the way, by the way we are, I spake unto thee that thou, that thou shalt see it no more again. And once we got on our slave ship, once we were driven out of our land, we haven't gone back to our home country. We, our people walking around and don't even know that they are the Israelites. My sister right here. Sister, do you know you're an Israelite, sister? What is required from you as an Israelite, sis? Do you know what the requirement is? Because being an Israelite, there's a requirement. There's a God-given responsibility that is upon you. Right? Read. I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, he, and, and there, when you come out the slave ship, when, when I came to Jamaica, um, Barbados, Haiti, Cuba, wherever the slave ship take you, the Americans, God says once you get out those slave ship, there, where you get off, read on. He shall be sold unto your enemies. He shall be sold unto who? Your enemies. So down to who? Your enemies! That's it! The Israelites, when they go into slavery and ship, they are going to be sold unto their enemies. But yet still, our enemies are the ones who set up the churches. Right. Our enemies are the ones who feed us. Right. Our enemies are the ones who clothe us. Give me verse 48. Right? And today we don't see them as enemies today. We want to marry them. We want to go and live with them. You understand why? Because we are destroyed as a people. Now read verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. My sister, can I ask you a question on our lovely sister? Do you mind if I ask you a question, sis? Do you know who we are as a people? Would you like to find out, sister? You want to spend a minute with us, sis? We're going to the Bible and show it to you. Right, see? Our people don't even care about who they are. We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. 
We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of God. This time that we're living in, the greatest time on earth, the revolution of spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives are shut down in the earth. You can tell by my faith that I'm all in. 